With its access to four major railroads, Chattanooga was a crucial target for the Union in the American Civil War. If the Union could capture and hold the city, then they could sever Confederate supply lines and hasten the close of the war. In the summer of 1863, Union Major General William Rosecrans targeted the small city. Through careful maneuvering, he was able to force the Confederate forces under General Braxton Bragg out of the city and into Georgia to the south. Unfortunately for Rosecrans, he misjudged rebel forces, and after attempting to encircle them, he found himself up against a reinforced Confederate army. Now on September 18th, Bragg's army crossed Chickamauga Creek and encountered Union forces. Rosecrans was able to organize a battle line, and his mounted infantry, armed with the uh, repeating Spencer rifles, cut down the rebel forces. During the night, more reinforcements arrived, and both generals prepared for a serious battle the next day. At dawn on the 19th, the battle began. Despite a series of aggressive attacks, Bragg's forces were unable to break the Union line that was arrayed roughly along this Lafayette Road. Throughout the day, both sides endured horrendous casualties as the battle remained pretty much a stalemate. At 11 p.m. that night, however, General James Longstreet arrived with his Confederate reinforcements. Bragg placed Longstreet on the left and forces under uh, Lieutenant General Leonidas Polk on the Confederate right. Now the next morning, September the 20th, at 9.30 a.m., the battle resumed. Polk's forces hammered the Union right flank. Unfortunately, due to a number of miscommunications, Rosecrans believed that there was a gap in the Federal line. He sent an order to General Thomas Wood, who manned the Union Center, and ordered him to move to fill this gap. Wood had already been berated twice during the campaign for not following orders, and thus he went against his better judgment and moved his troops, which promptly left a division-wide hole in the center of the Union line. As fate would have it, Longstreet had been preparing to attack the center, and as rebel forces swarmed into the gap, the Union right flank broke and routed. This swept a sizable number of Federal troops from the field, including Rosecrans. Despite a near encirclement, the Union forces were able to hold out for the rest of the day, and that evening quietly left the field. Bragg had won the Battle of Chickamauga, but then stalled in pursuing Rosecrans's forces. Instead of recapturing Chattanooga, he chose to place his forces on the surrounding mountains and lay siege to the city. Now, this lack of fortitude bore fruit two months later when the Union drove the Confederates back to the south. Bragg had turned a decisive tactical victory into a strategic defeat. With more than 16,000 Union and 18,000 Confederate casualties, Chickamauga was the second deadliest battle in the Civil War, directly behind Gettysburg. A couple of interesting facts, future President James Garfield, future drug maker Eli Lilly, and author Ambrose Bierce all fought in the Battle of Chickamauga. President Lincoln's brother-in-law, Benjamin Hardin Helm, who fought for the Confederacy, died at the battle. Interestingly, two astronomers were generals at the battle, Ormsby Mitchell and Philip Sidney Coolidge, and Coolidge went missing during the battle, and it was presumed that he was killed there, although his body was never found. And while the popular narrative is that the name Chickamauga, or Chickamauga Creek, means River of Death in Cherokee, this is probably more of a flight of fancy, and was probably made up. Let's get to the rules. Okay, this week's game is Chickamauga, The Last Victory, 20 September 1863, and it was published by SPI Games in 1975. The designer on this one was Irad B. Hardy, uh, John Young did the development, and Redmond Simonson did the artwork. It's probably the best of the Civil War quad games that SPI came out with, that is the blue and gray lines. There was uh, two of those quad games, so it's a total of eight games. They also added another couple games to it, so there's about ten of this uh, type of game out there. Now, I've kind of gone through the rules when I did Shiloh about a year ago, so if you need the basics, go ahead and look down at that. I will go through a few specific rules that I have for this game. I'll also kind of put in a couple reminders and house rules that I have. So let's go through those. Now the first thing I'd mentioned is a house rule that I've developed for this. In the rules as written, all units have a movement of uh, six movement points. That means that a artillery unit, a cavalry unit, and an infantry unit all can move the same. Now this essentially nullifies any difference between cavalry and infantry in the game for any sort of purpose. So what I've done is I've changed the movement points a little bit. I say cavalry have eight movement points, infantry have six movement points, and artillery have four movement points. So therefore, a uh, artillery unit can't move basically the same as a cavalry unit. And it gives cavalry a little more purpose for encirclements and such. So that's just a house rule. You can take it or leave it if you want to. 
Now I've also added the revised combat results table. This came out in 1984 and uh, changed up the odds a little bit for the game. I think it makes the game a little more interesting. There's a 3 to 2 odds set with it. And also units can be shattered. Now shattered just basically means that you're going to flip the unit over and it's going to attack and defend at half strength. And units can never recover from a shattered uh, status. If a shattered unit is attacked again and it takes damage, then it will be eliminated. Now with the revised combat results table, if a combat result is an exchange, the attacking unit has to lose at least as many strength points as the uh, combat strength of the eliminated uh, unit. So, so if the defender is shattered, the attacker would have to lose as many units as the initial half strength of the uh, defending unit, and the uh, defending unit would be eliminated. Now, I don't really add command and leadership. I think those would probably make the game a better simulation. Now, there's some good leadership rules out there for the game, but I usually don't play them. I kind of like these games because they're so light and easy to play and fast. And I think the leadership just makes it a little too heavy for just a light gameplay. There's also attack effectiveness rules for the game. Basically, with certain combat results, a unit could be rendered ineffective. So they're out of the battle until nightfall, at which point they are able to rally again. I think it adds a lot to the simulation of the game and improves it on that front. However, again, I think this is a light game, and I don't think it adds a whole lot to gameplay. You basically end up with a lot of units that are just kind of standing around, and, and pretty quickly the game kind of ends up in uh, slog. One rule I kind of tend to miss a little bit is the artillery rule. Artillery units in this game can fire three hexes, and they can fire over other units. However, if there's any uh, forest terrain in between them and their target, that target is outside the line of sight. A few notes on victory conditions for this specific game. First of all, uh, some units may have to exit the map. And to exit the map, they have to exit from hexes 0101 or 0110. And it costs one movement point to move off the map, and once a unit is off the map, it can't come back. If a unit exits the map because it's been forced to retreat, then that unit is eliminated. That does not count as an exit. Victory points are given out for controlling points on the map and for eliminating enemy units. Now, each player gets a victory point for every enemy combat point they've eliminated. The Union can also get victory points for an orderly retreat, and so basically they get a victory point for every Union combat strength point that's exited the map. Now the Confederate player gets 10 victory points for every Confederate combat strength point exited from the map. Now this seems like a great thing, however there's a couple of uh, specifics that need to be met. The first is they have to go off at 0101 and 0110, those two hexes. The other thing is they have to keep a line of communications. That means that they must be able to trace a road from hex 0101 or hex 0110 off the eastern edge of the map in order to gain these victory points. Now the, the road has to be free of Union units at the end of the game. However, it can pass through Union zones of control, so long as it's just not blocked. Now at the end of the game, also any Union units, which cannot trace a path 10 hexes at most, to a road which then in turn exits off the map at 0101 or 0110 are considered destroyed for purposes of victory conditions. Points are also awarded for occupation of hexes. For the Union player they get 10 points for controlling hex 1920 and they get 20 points for controlling hex 2311. The Confederate player gets 20 points for controlling hex 0211 and also for controlling hex 0502. Either player gets five victory points for controlling hex 0822, 1108, and 1115. These are all basically some crossroads. And occupation is defined as having a friendly unit physically on the hex in question, or having, or having been the last to have moved a friendly unit onto that hex. Finally, there's a Union Train Unit, and the Union Train Unit is basically a symbolic unit representative of the various hospitals, supply dumps, reserve ammunition trains, and other rear echelon trail organizations which were endangered by the Confederate advance. And if it ends up in a Confederate zone of control, it has to retreat. It has a defense strength of uh, one combat point. It can also not stack with any other Union units. The train has a normal movement allowance of six movement points, but it can only move along roads or trails. If it's forced to retreat to some other non-road or non-trail hex, it's destroyed. And if the Union train unit 
fails to exit the map by the end of the game, the Confederate player receives 10 victory points. Can't think of too many other rules that really need to be covered a lot. Again, look at the Shiloh game if you really are interested in learning how to play this game. If you've kind of got the whole Napoleon at Waterloo system down, I think you're going to find this game pretty familiar. Let's go ahead and get to playing. Okay, I've got ahead and set the game up here, and I've placed the victory point uh, markers right here. There's one up here, and then there's one here. You can see in the rules where to set these. Now, if you want to play this on Vassal and play along, go ahead and load that up, and I can wait. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go. Okay, hopefully you're, you've got everything going. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, Union's going to move first. And road movement is one. I think what I'm going to try to do is block for as long as possible down here on the south to keep the uh, Confederacy from getting up this onto this road. And then I think I'll hold these guys in the center for as long as possible using terrain to my advantage. Now up here it's going to be a little trickier. The... Uh, I think the Confederacy might try to move along this road and get as far up to the northwest as they can, as quickly as they can. And that would probably create some problems for the Union. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and he's in a pretty good position here to uh, defend. So I'll move him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I say infantry can move six, artillery can move four, and cavalry can move eight. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then these guys will stay where they're at. I think I might move him two, four, five there. Six. Let's move him there. Okay. Wait, no. Two, four, six. Well, I could just go one. Two, two, three. Or, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's just stay right there. Eh, let's go right there. I don't like him jutting out like that. Okay, these guys can go one, two, and then one, two, three. We'll try to stay there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think that's going to be it for my union move. So let's go ahead and get our movement done. Okay, and then we have a, oh, we've got to attack here. So we're attacking across a stream. Okay, so up here at this uh, ford, it's going to double the uh, defending strength of that uh, cavalry unit. This was probably a mistake moving him there. Oh, well, we've learned, we learn. So in this game, I've noticed when you use this type of revised combat results table, you got to have three to one odds. If you don't attack with those sorts of odds, you end up just getting slaughtered. So definitely the defender has the advantage in this game. The other thing, I've played this a number of times and I've played it wrong. And with the shattered results, you have to uh, retreat the units that are shattered. And I've always played it where they just sit there and they don't move. So that's where the retreats are. Okay, well, let's see. Five to three. Now, these guys are doubled since it's across the uh, ford. So let's say it's five to six or one to two odds. And I roll a six. A one to two with a six is an attacker retreats. Okay, well, he lucked out. Okay, that is the end of the Union turn. Now the Confederacy gets to go, and they can have some more fun. And I think what I'll try to do is overwhelm these guys down here. And I can do that. Now, I can stack two units on top of each other. Definitely him. Um, those guys can't make it over there in time, I don't think. But So we'll move uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Three, six. Three, six. Uh, that's four. Okay, can't move any further. And he can move there. Okay, so those guys will start attacking down here. And then this guy's isolated, so let's try to take advantage of that if we can. One, that's two, four. I can't move any further. 
two, four, six, two, three, six, three, six, three, six, one, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, can't make it. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to try to build a little line up here. And if we can ever get these these artillery units into place. Okay, there's uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two, four, six. You know, I don't know why a trail. If you went on a trail and this was two and this is. I think the trail, it would be one to cross this. So it'd be two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Well, it costs an extra one to get across there. Two, four, five, six. Okay. Let's go here. We'll go ahead and cross. Well, I could do six to five. Okay, we're going to go here. This guy can move in place. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. No. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, there's that guy. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four, six. Okay, that is it for the Confederacy, I think. I don't think there's anybody else that can move. Let's get rid of those. We do have some attacks. Okay, this guy has five for the Union. And here we have three. And nine is 12. And six is 18 to five. So we did our, have our three to one odds. We're going to attack. Three to one with a three. So three to one with a three. My mic's in the way. Is a defender eliminated? Okay, so we take out this guy. And then down here, we have an 8 to 5. So 1 to 1. Now do woods... I don't think woods change up anything. So forest hexes do have no effect on combat. Okay, and if you go to the real battlefield, you'll notice that this whole eastern side of the map is just a real thicket of... Uh, trees and underbrush. So it, again, this is kind of like Shiloh. There must have been just a lot of hand-to-hand -hand fighting in the battle for eight to five. So one to one, probably didn't want to attack, but we'll go with a six. One to one with a six is an attacker retreats. So he'll move back and he can actually push these guys back. Okay, down here we have a seven to four, or one to one odds with a three. Uh, one to one. Oh shoot, and I realized that with this combat table I need to be using two die instead of one. Derp. Okay, so let's try that again. One to one with a seven. The defender retreats. Okay, let's see. He's going to retreat back one, and I will definitely push in. Okay, now we have seven and four. Is it eleven to four? Two to one odds with a five. Two to one with a five is a defender shattered. Okay. So he's shattered. So we're going to flip him. And let's see. So if you flip these, now the one thing about this uh, vassal module is they don't, when you, when these guys are shattered, it doesn't show the uh, lowered strength points. So you have to just look here and you'll see the little uh, light area and then have that. So he now has two and he moves back one. And again, I will push forward. Okay, I think that is it for turn one. So we go to turn one. 
Turn two is a uh, big replenishment phase for the Union and for the Confederacy. So let's move these guys into place. Okay, so the Union's going to be bringing guys up this uh, road here, and then the Confederacy will bring these guys up on the to the southeast. Okay, these guys are. I think in this term we will push forward hard with the uh, Confederacy, and then down here we'll continue to try to make this line a little bit. Union is going to basically just try to keep replenishing their line and pushing hard over here. Now, we did bring this aid in. He's pretty, uh, pretty potent. So let's go ahead and put this in place, and we'll move this guy here. Actually, let's move him one, two. We'll move him up here, and that'll let me get some other guys in place. Hopefully we get these artillery units into play pretty quickly for the Union. I guess one of these fives. These are about the most potent they've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then one, two, three, four. And two artillery will go in place there. We're then going to move another five. Hmm. I want to get this, fill this gap up. I guess the fastest way to do it's going to be going up this road. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just going to pull everybody. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there. And hopefully I can shift this around a little bit. Okay, up here, I'll stay in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this poor guy is down here. I think we'll move here. There we go. Okay, we got not a lot of combat here, but got a 12 to seven so one to one odds and a six one to one six attacker retreats okay I will hmm move in okay and then we've got a and this is that that four is actually a two so we're gonna say seven to eleven so one to two odds we get a four and attacker retreats. Okay, it's another attacker retreats. So again, the Confederacy keeps pushing them back just slowly. Okay, oh, that coffee tastes good. Now then, it's now the Confederates' turn. Let's move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's see here. I wonder if I can move up over here. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Might be what I want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he can move one more. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, we're going to move him here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, move um, two, four, uh, that's not going to be, he's not going to make that, two, four, six, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, Four, five, and um, gonna move him here. This lone guy looks pretty, pretty sad out there. So we're gonna make his day. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
move that guy, that guy, that, keep him here. Two, one, four, okay. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then three, four, five, three, six. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. Can't go any further. Three, six. Three, six. Okay. Then these guys get to go. One, two, three. Move him here. Uh, one. Wait, that's a one, two, three, four. Two, three. Okay, four. That's right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can't move any further. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two. Ugh, these guys. Let's get this right. Okay. Starting with this guy. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, we can't go any further. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess. Two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. I, I said that. Yeah, that's clear terrain. So let's just leave that be. Okay. And then let's get another more. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can go around if we have to. Okay, so now Confederates have isolated this unit here. We'll fight down here. Now, this is going to create some problems for my Confederate guys. And then nothing up here. Okay. Let's start with this guy. Now he's got 11, and this guy has 7. So this guy needs to attack here. This is going to hurt. He's got 11, but he's up against 7. And then he's got to attack this guy, and 8 is 15. And let's see. Does rough defender doubled? Okay, so... Let's even make it worse. We've got 7 and 16, 22, 11 to 22, so 1 to 2 odds. We rolled 2, so 11. 1 to 2 at 11, attacker retreats. Well, again, it's not that bad. He will stay put. Okay, then we're going to attack here with 7 to uh, 12, 24. That's one to four odds. Okay, one to four with a seven. Attacker is shattered. Okay, so we flip this guy over. That was disastrous. And these guys will move back. Okay, here we have seven, 14, uh, 22, 26 to 5. So 5 to 1 odds, and we roll a 3. 5 to 1 with a 3 is a defender eliminated. So this guy's removed. We can move in. And that is the end of game turn 2. We'll now go to game turn 3. Okay, going into turn 3 here. Uh, things look a little bit uh, harder for the Union. Oh, I forgot to move these guys in. I guess I'll move them down there. There we go. Okay, so Union forces are now arrayed uh, kind of north-south. Let's see what we can do. Now, I think with these guys, let's see, I can, I think I can try. Whoops. Hmm. This guy here could go here and here, and then we can move him here. Three, six, okay. Three, six. 
Okay, we'll just move those guys there. These guys will stay put. Now the middle of the line is looking a little thin here, so we need to get over on Lafayette Road and one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a little thin here, but I am the defender, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that helps a little bit. Um, there's 11 down here. Okay, we're going to move him up. And we're going to move him one, two. And we're going to move him one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to keep these uh, shattered units. We're going to get them out of the fray as quickly as we can. Um, This guy, we could probably follow up with him. Let's go one. And then we're going to move him here. Now, I think we can bombard over friendly units. So we're going to do that. Up here, we're keeping... The, I think that's it for the Union. Okay. So we'll start up here. He's got five to three odds. So it's one to one odds. And we roll at eight. Attacker is shattered. Okay, so we flip him and move him back one. Okay, we got 10 to 12, so 1 to 2 odds. <clears throat> Excuse me. 1 to 2, 9. Is an attacker shattered? Okay, that pretty much is destroys the Union line up on the north, so... Flip piece, and I assume I can move these guys into positions. I will. Okay. Here, those guys are not doing anything. Now, down here, we've got 3, 6, and 9 is 15 to... What do we got? 15 to 11. That's not enough to... Okay, we'll just take it as one-to-one, -one and we go with a four. One-to-one -one with a four is a defender shattered. So... So pretty quickly this game is going to end up with a lot of shattered units. Okay, 10 and 12 is 22 to... Uh, Seven or that's going to be two and uh, two, four. So 22 to four is five to one odds. We roll a seven. Is a defender shattered? So now two shattered is going to equal an elimination. So those guys are gone. And we will move him into position. And that is it for the Union. So they did okay in the south, but the north things are looking kind of bad. Okay, Confederacy goes. Um, okay, we will go there and hopefully... Actually, let's go here. This guy can't... He's, he's kind of hemmed in. Okay, then... I don't have enough, really, units to make an attack. So I'm attacking... If I attacked here, I'd be attacking his double, so... Let's just um, let's just move this guy here and this guy here. Um, we'll go one, two, three. Actually, this is going to be two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and. Um, See these guys? One and three is four. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
Okay. And then... I think he could actually fire down here at him at one-to-one -one odds. Um, I think they have a range of three, so that artillery unit, ah, that's, I'm going to say he can just for, well, no, we're going through middle, middle hex to middle hex. Okay. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. Moving him into place, uh, moving these guys up. Actually, we need more power here and... Three, six, three, six, two, four, six, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to move, try to move again, take advantage of being in the north there. Okay. One, two, three. I don't know. Could he, I'm not, I'm going to say he can't. He could shoot down that stream, but again, if you look at the uh, maps, Chattanooga Creek is is pretty wooded on either side, so we'll just stay with that. Okay, now let's do some damage over here. So we've got three and six to three, so two to one odds. And we roll a five at two to one. Defender shattered. Okay, that's enough to get rid of this guy. Um, I'm not going to move in there. Okay, now I've got 6, 12, and I've got to attack both of those guys. So 12 to 5 with a 5. 12 to 5, it's 2 to 1 with a 5 is a Defender Shattered. Okay, that eliminates these guys. That guy can move into position. Now down here we've got a 10, 10 to 10, 1 to 1, and here we've got a uh, 4 and 8 to... Nine, so one to one and one to two. Let's start with the north one. And a seven at one to one is a defender retreats. And then, and we will not chase him down here because I can maybe reposition some of my guys. And a one to two. Got a six at one to two. Uh, attacker retreats. Okay. That is the Confederate move. We move to turn four. Get rid of those. The Union's going to try to go, um, hmm, what can I do? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to fall back. Um, hmm. I think I'll move up here with these guys, and I can attack there. Let's. Okay, we're going to move that artillery into place. Try to move up against this. Now, this guy's kind of intriguing here. I could get two to one odds if I tried, but... You know what? I could go here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Okay. We're going to move him here, keep those guys here. I think that's all I can really do. I really need to get some guys in. I'm probably going to have a hard time keeping the Rossville Gap area. Okay, so we've got a couple little battles here. We've got a 12 to 4, 3 to 1 odds. Take advantage of that, and we get a 7. 3 to 1 at 7. 
Is a defender shattered? Okay, and then we here we've got a 10, and the artillery gives me a 16 against a 10. I'm going to split this. So 16 and 4 is 20. So I'm going to use 2 to 1 odds here, and then I'm going to go 5 to uh, 8 there. So 2 to 1, and I get a 6. 2 to 1 with a 6 is a defender retreats. And here we have a 1 to 2, and it's an 8. A 1 to 2 at 8 is a attacker eliminated. Ouch! Now, there's always a rule with this. If you split an attack like that, does that guy get eliminated? I think I'm going to just say he is eliminated. So we'll move him over here. Okay, Confederacy gets to go. Um, I'm going to move this guy. I think... We're going to try something here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and six. Um, we'll let the artillery three, hmm, could try to take that guy out. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're going to do that. Now I'm going to say he can attack with that artillery there. And then, and that line's looking awful thin there. Take advantage of that. Okay. We are going to try to unseat this guy here. Um, can't really do much up here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. This is interesting. I've never played it this way before, so we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think a guy should be right there. That's okay. We'll move this guy back. And three, six, three, six. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six. He can't go any further, but. We'll move him here. Move him up to the front. Oh, I want to move that six up. Move him here. Move him here. Move him here. And move him here. There we go. Okay. A little bit of rearrangement. I think we're good. And hopefully I can kind of surround these guys and that can get those guys out of there. Okay. Confederates go. So down here we've got a 10 and a 8, 18, and 7 is 25 to 4. Um, okay. So six to one odds, we roll a seven, and it's a defender eliminated. Okay, the Union's not doing great here. Um, should we move into position? That would force the Union to not do anything, but he's pretty tough looking. 
don't know, one to one odds? Let him attack. Go for it, buddy. I for keep forgetting that attacks are pretty damaging in this. So seven, and then we've got an eight, so a 15. We got three to one odds. And a two, three to one at two is a defender eliminated. Oh, I think that is going to be. The Union's going to have a hard time coming back at this point. So seven. And uh, then we got 10, so 17. Now this is 10 because he is on the hills or rough terrain there. So 17 and five. So two to one, um, two to one odds. And we roll a four at two to one. Is a defender eliminated? Oh gosh. Okay, um, I'm gonna move up to that hill. And that is it for the Confederacy. For King turn four, we move to turn five. Again, the Union gets to go, and they're going to get some reinforcements coming in down here. Confederacy gets some reinforcements, some cavalry, and we're going to go down on the road here. Let's get rid of those movements. Okay, Union gets to go. I think at this point, we need a fallback. Uh, one, two, and this is three, so we'll move up here to that hilltop. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move him all the way back. Um, I've got a, this guy out here is a little bit uh, isolated. And we will move in here. Okay, now we can bring in these guys. One, two, three, four. One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll move over here. That'll give us plenty of movement. Um, do I want to? Nope, I don't want to do that. Um, okay. This guy's got to attack. Um, he could go here. And here, let's see, that's, okay, that's, uh, he's on the trail, so that's two, three, four, five. Okay. These guys are attacking here. These guys are down here. I think that's it for the Union. Okay. And so, this, since he's on this uh, rough terrain, fighting the rough terrain, there's not going to be, the Confederates are not going to get any sort of advantage here. So, 10 to 10. 1 to 1 odds. We roll a 5. 1 to 1, 5. Attacker retreats. Okay, we can deal with that. And I will move here. Okay, we got a 12, 16, 4 to 1 odds. And we get a 7 at 4 to 1. Defender shattered. We will not chase him. Okay, and then 10 and 8 is 18. And 6 is 24. Now, this guy, wait, he can fire. 5, 26, 27. Okay, 27 to 10. So 2 to 1 odds. Doesn't really change anything, but 2 to 1 with a 9. Attacker shattered. Oh, God. You know, whenever I can play, I always try to play these games at least five times before I uh, put them in as a video. And I'll generally have these games that are, are pretty um, nondescript and kind of go according to the script that the game kind of wants to go over. But whenever I'm actually filming, it always seems like I get these really weird games where one side or the other just gets decimated. The nice thing is I oftentimes will see once I get decimated so fast that I don't have to make the video quite as long. Except for Fury in the West. My God, that was a long video to make. 
Okay. Let's see, did I? Oh, I did that. Okay, I guess we're on a Confederate turn. I guess the Confederates can move. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move here to 0502. And that's now under Confederate control. So, we will change that. There we go. Put, put the stars and bars down there. Ah, not what I wanted. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, Confederates control that. I wonder if the Union, they could make a rush, but that's not okay. Uh, let's go. There's some rough terrain between here and McFarland's Gap, but we could go way up there. That's going to cause us an extra two turns to get over here, but we might be able to keep... I tell you what, we get points for getting Union units off the map, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's all the further I can go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's going to be eight. I need at least eight. I think this is just going to be one of those moving into position kind of things. Oh. Not, no, it won't. Um, one, two, three, okay. Can he get out of that? Let's see, is this a trap? One, two, three, four, five, six. And it, it would be a trap. So we're going to move here. And we will try to. Let's see here. We will try to Whoop. Actually, that guy's fairly easy with with 7, he's down to 4, so he's okay. Um can't really get there. I wonder. I don't think I can shoot down there. I just don't feel right about that. Okay. Okay, we got some cavalry that came on. And I'm going to again try to move them through that gap in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. And like I said, we're going to try to exploit that gap. I guess that's kind of what happened in the real battle is we left that gap in the center because Rosecrans moved those guys. Now, this is a day early for that, but... That's okay. I guess it is a little historical. Okay, we got 10, and 4 is 14 to 5. So 2 to 1 odds with 10. Attacker, sh no, defender retreats. Okay, defender retreats. We move him back. And um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's this guy shot too. So this was actually 5, 10, 14, and 5. 19 to 5, 3 to 1 odds, and we rolled a, what did we roll? We rolled a 10 with 3 to 1. Okay, let's look at that again. 3 to 1, 10, attacker retreats. Okay, not as good for the, should have left that alone for the Confederacy. We got 8 to 5, 1 to 1. 
is an 11, one to one, attacker eliminated. Okay, we got 10 and seven to four. And we are gonna add that five, so seven and five is 12 to four, so three to one odds. And we roll a seven, three to one. Seven is a defender shattered. And since that would entail a retreat and it's the retreat would go through a uh, zone of control, he's eliminated. Okay, now we're going to use a 12 to 12 to 12. One to one with a eight is an attacker shattered. Okay, and then down here, 10 to 10 to 10 to 4, 2 to 1 odds. We get a 12 at 2 to 1 is an exchange. Now, yeah, this uh, type of system doesn't have the exchanges that the old Napoleonic Waterloo system always had. So, so anyway, we lost two units, two, four, and so this guy's got to lose four. So I'll just get rid of that guy. Okay. This will force him to fight back, which should eliminate him. You can, I mean, you can really force combat on these guys, and that's how you win the game. Okay, that's it for the Confederacy. Union gets to move. They get some reinforcements down here. And we are in turn six. Okay. I could... I could try to take those guys out. I think that's probably the way to do it. Three, six, oh, I can't. I was thinking I could move around him, but I don't think I can, so... Hold the plan. We'll just hold the fort right there. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and He'll move in here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, not sure what to do with these guys. I guess they do need to kind of hold their position, so I think we'll hold this here. And we need to try to fill that gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and eight. Okay, there we go. Any other union now? Uh, Positions? Nope. Okay. Um, these guys are staying put. These guys are staying put. Staying put. Okay, we can we're trying to eliminate this guy. So we've got five, ten, fifteen to seven. Two to one odds. And we roll a five at two to one. It's a defender shattered. That will be an elimination because he's been forced to retreat. Okay, and then we've got a, a five to a one to two. Ooh, one to two at six. Okay, one to two at six is attacker retreats. Yeah, you kind of breathe a sigh of relief when you get a retreat in this game. Twelve to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one to one odds. With a six, attacker retreats. Okay, maybe I can get some of these guys out of the way. Okay, and then we go down here, and there's that four, eight, to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, to eight. 
Okay, 12 to 8. Um, it's 1 to 1. I'm still losing some units there. Okay, let's go with, if we had 3, 6 to 8, that's 1 to 2. Let's take the 1 to 2. And we get a 9. 1 to 2 at 9 is an attacker shattered. Okay, so... Those guys are off the map, and then and we will move in, and then we have three, six, nine, nineteen to six, three to one odds with twelve. Three to one, twelve is an attacker shattered. That's, so he's back. And he will take that place there. Okay. Union has gone. Confederacy will now go. And we will start up here. Um, I think I can hold that. Tell you what we're going to do. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to move one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to try to cut them off. Actually, I'm going to go back up here. We're going to try to cut off the Union retreat. Okay, this guy. He could move in here. That gap is still a problem. Um, one. And I think we can... No, we can't fire. That's that There's not a line of sight there, so... Um, where can I move this guy? I wish I could say the rough terrain would be a hilltop, but it's not. Okay. I can move here. Three... Twelve to four. That's three to one, but it's actually going to be one to one. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna. We've got to push forward here. Uh, there's one, four, five, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then Okay, there's the line, and then we're going to move these guys here, and we want to keep that line together. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we'll move him here. Okay, so we, we're going to try to break this line a little more. Up here, we're kind of keeping everything blocked. Okay, let's see here. We got 9 to 10. 1 to 2 odds with a 3. 1, 2, 3. Defender shattered. Okay.
Okay, then we've got here seven, 17 to five, three to one odds, seven, Defender Shattered. Okay, and then down here, 10, one to one odds with a three, one to one with a three, Defender Shattered. Boy, the Union Kids cannot catch a break in this. I think they're doing worse than they did in the real battle. And it's an interesting battlefield. If you ever get a chance to go down to that and Chattanooga, it's it's pretty cool. So I'm going to let these guys attack me. Ten. Yeah. One to one. Go for it. Okay. There's nine to ten. One to two. And four. Let's go with uh, nine. And we'll take that four. One of the fours. Um, okay, nine to one of those fours to... Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, at least keep it one to one odds. I don't want to go really to one to two if I can't help it. Uh, nine, one to one. Nine is a attacker retreat. We'll just move that guy back and that guy back. And then here we've got a four. And a seven is an eleven to six. One to one odds. Seven, one to one, seven. Defect defender retreats. And then down here, we've got a six to six, one to one with 11 attacker eliminated. Okay. And that is it for the uh, Confederate. That's the end of turn six. Okay, now this uh, supply train gets to try to go. And uh, they start down here. And what they're gonna have to do is get up this road up the Dry Valley Road, and then get off at McFarland's Gap, which is going to be hard because I've got Confederate forces that are going to try to block it. But Okay, Union. Well, this guy's off the map, so we're going to put these guys right here for now. That's the Union forces that have got off the map. They'll help with the victory conditions. Let's try to pull some other guys off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And... We'll move him here, him here, and we will try to take these guys back. These guys have to fight. He can surround him, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think they move as an infantry. Okay, let's go. this guy gets to get out of here. He's going to skip it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Rosecrans is a running. And those guys are going to be able to bombard. Um, we're pretty much just having to just take little individual battles at this point with the Union. I think the Union's lost this, but let's just keep seeing how far we can go. Okay, Union forces here are 3 and 4 is 7, and 9 is 16, uh, 16 to 9, so 1 to 1, barely. Or they did barely got the, they didn't get that 2 to 1, so 10, 1 to 1 at 10 is a attacker shattered. These guys, man. And this guy, since he's already been shattered, he's eliminated. And then these two guys are shattered and shattered. Go out. Okay. Down here, we got five. And then six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven. 
and 4 is 15, and 5 is 22. 22 to 1 odds. Okay. Let's roll it. 11. 2 to 1 with 11 exchange. Okay, so they take 10, and then I've got to get rid of 10 of the union points, and then down here we've got a 4, 5, 10, and 12 is 22, and 9 is 31 to 3, so 6 to 1, easy 6 to 1 odds, and a 6 is a defender eliminated. Okay, that was pretty easy going. Okay, that's it for the Union. Now the Confederacy gets to go, and of course we're going to go here, and I'm just going to assume we move this guy, and let's put a, actually let's move both those guys there, and we will put this guy here, Whoop, I didn't want to do that, okay, change, let's go, oh, I can do this, what am I thinking, there we go, that to a confederate flag and then there's everything there okay now we can have some fun it's going to be a turkey shoot from this point on i think um one two three four Um, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, down here, I don't see a reason. I think I might let these guys, well, three, four, Let's see, there's three, four. He can do that. He can move right in there, right there. Okay. And then those cannons can fire right there. So he can go, he can retreat. Okay, there's what we're going to do. Uh, that guy's going to pretty much, we're going to sacrifice this guy to try to get rid of these guys. Okay, let's see. There you go. And um, let's start here. Six, that's five, ten, fourteen to ten. So one to one odds. Oh, fourteen to ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, two to one odds because I'm going to be firing with my cannons here. Wait, okay, hold on. 6, 3, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, I need it. Okay. And we roll a 7. 2 to 1 at 7. Attacker retreats. Okay, there we go. And then this guy is 4 to 1 to 3 odds. He's pretty much sacrificed, I think. 11 at 1 to 3 is an attacker eliminated. Yeah. So he gives his rebel yell, and that's about it. Okay, then up here, this guy can move out. Nope, he can't move anywhere. Okay. 7 and 6 to uh, 3, 6 to 6. That's 1 to 1 odds. That guy's not going to help any, so we'll just say one to one with a eight. One to one with an eight is an attacker shattered. Flip piece, flip piece. Maybe that was close. They could have 
taking him out. Okay, then we got a four and a five is a nine to four. Two to one odds with a nine. Attacker shattered. Oh my gosh, the Confederacy's having a bad day here. Okay, there's that. Now then up here, I say this is a turkey shoot, but maybe not. Three. Uh, three, six, nine, ten. And then I'm going to use these guys. Ten and nineteen to five. So three to one odds. We roll at 12 at 3 to 1. Attacker shattered. My gosh. So, oh, the vagaries of war. Okay. Oh, and they have to move. All of these guys have to move back. I forgot about that. So, there we go. Then finally, I got a 9 to 2, 4 to 1 odds with a 10 is an exchange, okay? So he loses 2, and we'll flip this guy. Okay, there we go. Is that it? That is it. Okay. That's, and then we go to turn eight. We have some, I think this is our last turn of reinforcements. This is the last turn of the first day. And I cannot get those guys off. Okay. Eight to six. Okay. These guys are going to have to fight their way off the map. And those guys are going to have to fight their way off the map. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we will move him into position. Oh, that guy can't move that far. What am I doing? One, two, three, four. Okay. That guy can't move that guy. Wait, one, two, he can't do that. What a, ah, okay. That's about all I can do. Okay, Union. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, six. One to one odds. We roll a two, Defender Shattered. Flip piece, flip piece, and I'm going to force him. Oh, we need to get our unit back. Okay, yeah, we will move into that. So essentially that guy can't move out. He's kind of stuck there. Okay, over here, these guys are going to fight at a uh, two and three. is a five to... Five to nine, so one to two odds. Two, one to, defender shattered. No, oh, defender eliminated. No, defender retreats. Okay, and since the Confederacy can't retreat, they're eliminated. And then this guy has to fight five to twelve. One to one to three odds. Five, one to three at five. Attacker retreats. I can deal with that. Okay, down here. Uh, 
six, two, four. No, wait, he's got to fight both of these guys. Okay, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, to one, two, three, four, six to four, six to five, six, seven, eight, six to eight, one to two odds. And that's an eight. One to two at eight is an attacker eliminated. Not a surprise. Okay, here we've got a eight to two, four to one odds with a six. Four to one with a six as a defender retreats. Okay, and then down here, 12, 22 to five, four to one odds. Eight. Four to one at eight is an exchange. Okay, so he loses one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so he's gone and he's gone. Okay. Okay, Confederates get a go. Keep these guys in position. We'll move up the road here and down the road here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We'll move here and here. And then we'll move here. And here. One. One, two, three. Right, you can go here and here. Now down here. And then this guy will move in one. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I think that's it. And now we can play it out. Let's start over here. We got three, four, five, six, seven to eight. And then we've got ten to ten to three. So let's go three to one here first. Three to one with a six. Is a defender retreats and he can go here. Okay, then this guy gets moved in. He's gonna go on, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to eight, a one to two odds with a eleven is attacker retreats. Okay. We was hoping for a defender retreat, but that'll work. Okay, down here. I got a nine. And a 12 to 5. 4 to 1 odds with a 4. 4 to 1 with a 4 is a defender shattered. And that'll eliminate him. And then over here we've got a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 to 9. It's going to be 9 to 9. He's doubled because he's on the hill or the rough. We roll a uh, 1 to 1 with a 10 is an attacker shattered. So eliminated, eliminated, flip piece, flip piece, move back, move back. Okay, down here, I got a seven and a nine, 16 to five, three to one odds with a 10, three to one with a 10 is an attacker retreat. Okay, there we go. I think that's it. Okay, now it's the night turn. Now, the night turn, if they're not in a zone of control, they can move, but they cannot move into an enemy zone of control. So this may be our chance to get these Union units off the map. So he goes one, two, three. Now he can't move here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Um, this guy's going to stay here. I don't think he can really go anywhere else. Um, he can't go off up here. Okay, these guys. We're going to defend this with our lives. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's going to be it for the Union movement. We're kind of holding a little ground there. This game is not going to last much longer. I think the Union's pretty much shot, but Confederates can't move into, into enemy zones of control, but we can definitely move here and here and one. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it for the night movement. The night turn is over. Okay, Dawn's arriving the next day, and so it's turn 10. Um, the Union's pretty much just having a last stand up here, um, and they're going to have to fight off the Confederacy over at McFarland's Gap. Finally, they're doing okay down here. I think if they can go ahead and take out a few more of these units and then move up off the board, they ought to be okay. So I think we'll stay put here. We'll have to fight here. So we will move this guy up here. That'll put the supply train in one move away. So, okay, so we got eight, and then three is nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I gotta see here. Um, we'll move these guys in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oops. I guess they can only move about this far, so I was going to try to surround them, but that's okay. Okay, so we got 8 here, 12, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. This will easily be 6 to 1 odds, so let's roll for it. 5 at 6 to 1 is a defender eliminated, and we will move these guys out. And then up here, we have an 8, 9, 10, 11 to 10. So 1 to 1 and a 7. 1 to 1, 7. Defender retreats. Okay, so we pushed him out of the way. Okay, that's it. Now the Confederacy will go. I think we'll go ahead and eliminate this guy. But we need to back up these guys here so if I can keep everybody from getting off the map here I think we'll be good let's go ahead and do this and this and then those guys will stay and then these guys can move one two three four five six seven eight um, One, two, three. We're going to make one big push here. And... Okay, there's the push against the Union. And up here there's going to be one. So we've got three Union battles left. Now they've got uh, this five is three. And nine is going to be 12. And 12 is 24 to uh, 
five, that's 10, 20. So two to one odds. We roll a four. Whoops, I don't need leaders. Two to one, four. Is a defender eliminated? Okay, that gets rid of those Union troops here. Okay, down here, that will be uh, t 10. And then four, five, six. Six and six is 12, 13. So one to one, five. One to one with a five is an attacker retreat. Okay, and then here we've got a uh, nine to six. That's going to be one to two because he's fighting from rough. One to two with a seven is the attacker is um, shattered. That's okay. Flip it and flip it. And then here we've got a two, four, two, eight, one, two, eight, one to two, eight. Attacker is eliminated. Okay, so the lesson here is don't attack. Okay, up here, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, two. Whoops, okay, hold on. There's Two, four, five, six, seven, seven to eight, one to two with a 10. Attacker retreats. And let's move my mic up a little bit. And then here we've got a 10 to, um, 10 to five, two to one odds with a 10. Two to one with a 10 is a defender retreats. Okay, so he's moved out. Um. Okay, that is it for the round. Okay, her turn. Let's see, can Union gets to go? Um, we can still, I think we can take these guys. Let's do this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then they'll move in here. We'll move here, and then we'll attack uh, there. Stay put there. And we've got this guy surrounded. Okay. Uh, we've got a eight, nine, ten, eleven to. 10, okay, 11 to 10, one to one odds, 11, one to one, 11 is an attacker eliminated. <laughs> so don't attack in this game. Okay. And then here we've got a eight and a five is a um, 13 and 12, 25 to 1, 2, 3, 25 to 6 to 1 odds with a 12 as an attacker retreat. Okay, they, boy, they, okay, here we've got a 3 to, 3 to 5, 1 to 2, 1 to 3 with a 8, 1 to 3 with an 8 is the attacker shattered, but since that was a, uh, since it was artillery, isn't going to do anything. Here we've got a six to a six. One to one. A five. Attacker treats. Okay, that won't matter. Okay. Confederacy goes. And this is, should be a Confederate flag now. Hold on. No, it isn't. Now it is. Okay, um, we've learned about attacking. And we will just, I think we're just going to have a little battle here. 
uh, seven to six, one to one, okay, is an eight, one to one with an eight is an attacker shattered, so nothing, uh, there's no more units there, okay, and then we have a one, two, three, nine, and twelve, fifteen, twenty-four, and three, seven, so that's a 27 to 8, 3 to 1 odds, and we get a 8, 3 to 1, 8, Defender Retreats, okay, and so that will get rid of that guy. Okay. That's the end of the turn, and then this guy will be eliminated. We go to turn 12, and... We could keep attacking, but I think we'll just, again, stay put. These guys are in pretty good shape here. I think we'll move... Well, again, again, this is going to be a last stand. We will... In, uh, we're going to put all our firepower. Three, nine, against a six. So one-to-one -one odds. There's a five. Let's go with, well, it's either way. It's going to be a one to one. So we got eight with one to one, eight, nothing. Okay. And then the Confederacy will go. Okay. You've got seven points there. And these guys are pretty weak. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, and I think we're going to keep our weak units up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see, these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This guy will move into position here. One, two, three. Hey, we'll move this guy here, and then we'll move four here. And I think that's it. Okay. We got nine to five. Nine to five. Okay, that's a seven. actually one, two, three. You can shoot over rough terrain with these. So I'm going to make that two to one odds. Let's roll it again. Two to one with a 10. Two to one with a 10 is a defender retreats. Okay. And then we get a six, 12 to 10. One to one with an 11. Attacker eliminated. Okay. And and then here we've got our seven to let's go seven to three. Let's go with that two to one odds. Okay, seven two to one with a seven is an attacker retreats. Okay, nothing. We move to the next turn, and I'm going to call the game, I think, at this point. I don't think we're going to do much more than other than eliminate a few units back and forth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, figure up the victory points, and I'll be right back with those. Okay, so the uh, Union ended up with 119 points, and the Confederacy ended up with 177 points. The game actually surprisingly played out quite a bit like the real battle. The Union kind of lost it in the middle, and the Confederacy exploited that uh, opening and was able to basically divide the Union forces. I think this is probably the best of the uh, Blue and Gray Quad games. I think Shiloh's pretty close. Antietam's a good game, but it has a couple of flaws in the rules that I think make it kind of hard to play. Um, and uh, Cemetery Hill, which is the uh, Blue and Gray Quad uh, Gettysburg game, isn't really up to snuff. It's it's really not a very good game. The Blue and Gray Quad 2 games, uh, I've played the Fredericksburg game and the Chancellorsville game, and they're fine. I hear the Wilderness isn't so good. 
Uh, there's also a Vicksburg one and a, and a Richmond one, but I haven't played those either. But hopefully I'll get those in the can one of these days. Anyway, fun game. Uh, each time I play it, it plays out quite differently, which makes it kind of neat. I think there's uh, an opportunity for both opponents to win this game. That's what I got this week. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.